out with this as well. So, I mean, as an example, I think uh, Robert Wright explains, I can't remember, it was in 1994 he wrote this book, man. It's so prescient. It's amazing. And um, But at the time, maybe the richest man was like Warren Buffett or something. It's like a really unsexy example. And he talks about the fact that uh, you could have the richest man in the world that's worth however many billion, and he could fund the lives using money as a proxy for resources, which is one of the fundamental things that women want from a man. Uh, mm-hmm. He would be able to fund like 10,000 women's lives the same yes. as as one millionaire. Okay, obviously women want more than just monetary access. They actually want emotional control, uh, emotional uh, connection they want to be able to feel like they're part of a working capacity family and so on and so forth the prospect of being funded uh, pretty much winning the lottery ticket when it comes to these these warren buffett types and having to raise children with a man that you're not necessarily attracted with or attracted to or even happy with that doesn't necessarily provide the sort of life that you want well the third option is obviously to con- is to continue uh leading a solo ranger life and yes. i think that the from a utilitarian perspective it would like why why isn't everyone in a relationship with elon musk like i should be in a relationship with elon musk based on utilitarian approach well it's because he's building he's busy building rockets i think that's what the issue is he's not he's not he doesn't have the time for that sort of thing i'm glad he pointed out that women want more than money because again i feel like a red pill community always preaches that us all women care about but the other guy also pointed out, why would you want to go for a woman that only cares about your possessions and your financial, fi- your monetary gains anyway? Because what you're marrying is an opportunist. You're not marrying a person who wants to be your wife, who wants to be your partner, who wants to love and take care of you. And if you get into a terrible accident and now you're shitting the bed that she will stick by your side and change your fucking adult diapers, you're marrying an opportunist. And when you marry an opportunist, all she's waiting is for, for another opportunity to move on. She's going to dump your ass and go to the bigger and better thing. But again, I feel like what the red pill community does is tell men to create lives or at least create an image that you have lots of money and lots of material possessions so you can attract a certain women. But the women you're attracting are the same women you're bitching and complaining about, which is opportunist. So again, I feel like it's a values thing. You have to figure out what is more important to you. What are your values? So I'm really glad he pointed that out. 